Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, football fans of all ages, this is Barnstable High School, home of the Red Raiders, and today it is the third and final week of the de facto playoffs. Both of these teams have since been eliminated from Super Bowl contention. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high atop the turf here on the Cape for Brockton versus Barnstable. The Boxers coming off a huge 34-3 win against the Taunton Tigers. A very emotional game in which was played just a few days after the death of longtime head coach Armand Colombo. Barnstable wearing their home red jerseys, white pants with blue trim around the white numbers. The boxers in there visiting white jerseys with black trim around the maroon numbers. Brockton's record stands at 4-4. Four and four. This is the last game minus Thanksgiving. The Bridgewater Random Trojans traveling to Marciano Stadium on Turkey Day. Harlan's Gene to kick off for the boxers. Rather, that is Sten Bruno taking over kickoff duties in this one. Here goes Bruno. 10 plus yards back. The kickoff from the 40 yard line. Barnstable winning the toss, selecting to receive. And here is number six of the Red Raiders putting together a nice return to the 40, to the 50. Can he turn on the Jets? No, that was number six, Jadaro France. The 5'10", 175-pound junior with an excellent start for Barnstable. The ball will be spotted at the Boxers' 47-yard line. Number 16 lining in at quarterback, that is Matthew Peter Kuski, senior captain. Very windy and a flea flick trick play. Here's Peter Kuski. His pass is intercepted. All the way back was number 25 of the boxers. That is a Johnny Horn. And the first pass of the game, Barnstable tried the old flea flicker. And a trick play drawn up, and a Johnny Horn, the boxer's top running back the last few weeks, playing a little cornerback, making the interception. So Brockton takes over. Not how Barnstable wanted to start their Friday at evening. And here, the sea breeze coming in from the water. A little chilly here in Barnstable this Friday evening. Michael Norman hands off. I think that's Horn in the pile. So Norman under center, two backs, number 39, new to the running back corpse. And it's number 17 taking it up, Amik Waterson. Good for a boxer first down. Same formation, one lone wide out to the near side, the give off to Amik Waterson. Watterson turning the corner, cutting back inside. Amik Watterson across the 50. 
or rather across the 40. And that's good for another boxer first down. So Watterson both carries so far for the boxers, a couple of first downs. There's Watterson again. And this time, oh, it's still on his feet, breaking the tackle. He's got a gain of about five when all is said and done. Watterson's escapability, his greatest asset. Tentessa, the lone wide out to the near side. No sign of Isaiah Laguerre. Whistles blow. False start against the boxers. That'll back them up the five yards that Watterson just gained. Watterson in the backfield once again. They give to Watterson, tries hurdling a couple of linemen. He was joined in the backfield by Trayvon Cordaro Goodwin, the sophomore linebacker. We've seen these last couple of weeks, once the boxers are eliminated from playoff contention, the last few years really be kind of a tryout for the following season. That's uh, Norman got his start after Matthew Caruso was hurt a couple of years ago. Now Norman to pass for the first time. It is low but caught by number 81, Adamola Filet. He's been a top target of Norman this season. Box is going hurry up. No huddle offense here. The clock momentarily stopped for the moving of the change. First down from the 45-yard line for the Boxers. Wind picking up quite a bit here at Barnstable High School. Norman in the shotgun. They give to Watterson. Amik Watterson finds the hole. Amik Watterson down to the 20. As it is starting to rain here at Barnstable. First down boxes from the 32 yard line. The number is incredibly hard to see on this field. Norman in the gun again. I think Brockton's going to call a timeout here. The offense looking confused. Here's Watterson turning on the Jets. Down to the 25. Norman gives to Watterson. Watterson up the middle. He has a clear path to the end zone. Touchdown, boxers. Amik Watterson with a couple of first downs and finishing off the drive with a touchdown for the boxers. And the offense seemingly has returned to form from what they were against New Bedford, Franklin, BC High, Severian, where they did not score a touchdown save for the first half of the BC High game in week four.
Boxer's going for two here. And that attempt is no good. So it's six nothing. Brockton. So it's six nothing boxers as they get ready to kick off to the Red Raiders. This could have been a divisional matchup if it was next season. Again, the big three in the old Colony League talking merger. Barnstable has not a lot of interest in sending their teams to Bridgewater and Brockton, which is an hour and a half drive in good traffic. couple times a year in every sport. So Barstable collecting out of that. That's Bruno kicks away, fielded at the 10 yard line by number six. That is Jadaro France. France gets tripped up at the 34. Weather gets progressively worse here on the Cape. Of the second look of the night at Matthew Peter Kuski, the senior co captain, 5'11, 185 pounds. 0 for 1 with an interception. This one complete to number 15, who is immediately knocked out of bounds. That's Connor. Baldassaro. So Baldassaro, first completed pass of the night for Peter Kuski. Now the offense shifting. Peter Kuski goes under center with three backs. Give. It's number 23 on the carry, Brian Frey. Junior 5'7 running back, undersized as Barnstable tries the same formation. Brockton's going to call a timeout. They had too many men on the field. Good awareness by the boxer sideline to spot the extra man. Just a 30 second timeout. They almost get caught again with too many men. Number 30, Josiah Asari, has been the boxer to trot off the last couple of plays. The give to Frey is good for a Barnstable first down. A lot of motion for the Barnstable offense. Here's the quarterback keeper for Peter Kuski. He has a sizable gain on his hands. About seven and a half, eight yards on that gain for Peter Kuski on the keeper. Now a quick toss complete to number one. He is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a three-yard loss for Joseph Molina. Okay. 
Five wide for the Red Raiders. Now, again, a motion in which Peter Kresge gets flanked by two backs. Now, every member of the Red Raiders looking at the sideline. What are we supposed to do now? They're off their defense adjusted. Play action pass. Peter Kresge pressured by Navon Reed, throws it up. And it's going to be incomplete, out of bounds. Was not out of bounds. Locascio. It looks like Barson was going to go for it here on fourth and long. Here's the late personnel change to get out the punting unit. It's fourth and about four. Weird punting formation for the Red Raiders and whistle stoppage. Timeout called by Barnstable. Hey, get somebody over here. Hey, get somebody over here. Longest time it has taken to take a punt in high school history. Weird formation is Barnstable stacked. Three men in front of the punter and now muffed. And Barnstable is in possession. No, it's still loose. It's a Donnybrook down there. Barnstable takes over off of the muffed reception by a Johnny Horn who had that interception on the Red Raiders first offensive drive so Barnstable threatening here and the Red Raiders going five wide again and now they change they send three men to the back of the line of scrimmage extra blocking in the box the give is to Frey who was brought down after a gain of about one. Special teams has been the boxers' bread and butter all season. An absolute miscue there for Johnny Horn. Peter Kusky, quarterback keeper, gain of a yard. Third and about eight. Constable marching band playing Jaws theme song. As the Fox's defensive line gets to behind the line of scrimmage. I would think they'd try to stay away from Jaws on the cave. That's almost akin to New York Yankees fans screaming, we want Boston after they toppled the Oakland Athletics in the wild card game. Peter Kuski hitting the ball is out. Okay, we got it. Yes. Number 44 falling on it. That is Brandon Daly coming up with the fumble recovery for the boxers. So the team's trading turnovers. And after Johnny Horn myths the punt return, it is Brandon Daly recovering a fumble. I think Ogan Lola was in on that sack. That was 
Norman under center. Screen pass. That is complete to Navon Reed. Reed star stepping. And he's dragged down. Dangling that ball out there for the taking. First down, boxers. Two receivers set, Tessa and Adamola Filet, the give. Good for a couple of yards. That was number 39, Rodrigo Lima. As Norman hands off to Amik Watterson. Watterson turning the corner, getting to the outside. Amik Watterson first down. Flag in. So we'll await the penalty. See what the call is. Personal foul against David Belsius. The ten yard penalty against the boxers to negate a first down run for Amik Watterson. Tessa in motion. He moves into the slot. Norman looking for Tessa. He finds him and he's down at the 40 yard line. Ted Tessa with a first down for the boxers. Full timeout called by the brother. That is the end of the first quarter. So Brockton's up six to nothing over the Barnstable Red Raiders after they make Waterson touchdown. Slow going start, but the boxers with the momentum after forcing a fumble recovered by. Brandon Daly. Barnstable yet to get on the board. The first pass attempted by Matthew Peter Kuski was intercepted by a Johnny Horn. It was a long pass, too. Spent about 40 yards in the air. Watterson still on his feet, trying to turn the corner to the outside. He does, 
and he's close to the first down marker. Yards after contact for Amik Watterson. Norman under center. Back to pass. Norman has Tessa off his fingertips. Incomplete. So no, still no sign of Isaiah Laguerre. The speedy junior. Spinner on the sideline in full pads. Navon Reed swaps out for Tessa. Norman back to pass. Same play this time for Reed. Tipped. And Reed got it off a couple of bounces off of the defender who almost intercepted it. If he closed his hands, it would have been an interception down at the four-yard line. Instead, it is a first and goal for the boxers. What an athletic play by Navon Reed. Norman, quarterback keeper, trying to drive towards the goal line. He is across the goal line. Where they spot him down is the question. That's going to be a touchdown. Boxers. Michael Norman on the quarterback keeper after Navon Reed set it up at the four-yard line, and the boxers go up 12 to nothing over the Barnstable Red Raiders. A late, late, late flag thrown in. Just thrown in as the boxers are lining up for the extra point. I think it's going to go against the Red Raiders on Sportsmanlike or something to that effect. Sportsman like against the Red Raiders is the call. So one would assume that is enforced on the kickoff. called by Barkson, who's rocking, has yet to attempt the extra point. So it's 12 nothing boxers as it stands now. Barkson will calling a full timeout, pre-extra point attempt. After a lengthy 
stoppage between touchdown and extra point attempt. Here we go. Box is going for two here, and it's Adam Olafley on the near side. Levon Reed. I think I see number 18. Trey Shula Hall on the far side. Ted Tessa lining up in the slot. He's the man in motion. The direct snap to Watterson, and he's going to walk in. Two point conversion is good. 14 to nothing, boxers. So it's Amik Watterson on the two point conversion. Off of the direct snap, and the boxers will kick away to the Red Raiders once again. And that unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Will indeed be enforced on the kickoff, so the boxers. Kicking off from the 45 of Barnstable. You'd almost rather they take the 10 or 15 yards off from the end of the run. Instead, the boxers will more than likely kick it through the end zone. Instead, Bruno to kick away. From the 45 of the Barnstable Red Raiders. Excellent kick falling at the one, but taking that bounce into the end zone for a touchback. I don't see a lot of touchbacks in high school. Raiders yet to get on the board as they motion again and Peter Kuski moves out to wide receiver on the near side. It's going to be a direct snap and keeper for number 15 who is absolutely swallowed up. That's Connor Baldassaro. So two trick plays for the Red Raiders, an interception and a loss of three. I think Barstable would keep it by the book at this point. Peter Kuski in the gun. Now back to pass, looking to the far sideline. It is incomplete. That was intended for Baldassaro. Catholic Memorial and Severian going at it in the South Sectional Final. You've been watching us at all this season. You won't hear me say this often, but go Severian. Third and a long two, we'll call it three, four, and Red Raiders that they are going to turn it over. Boxers defense holding tough early in this one. So here comes Mike Norman.
Tessa on the end around give. He is running to at the line of scrimmage, falling forward for a yard. Watterson bouncing off of Red Raiders before the forward progress is stopped. Michael Norman. He's got extra receivers on this play, both out of Mola Filet, Tessa, and Navon Reed. In for the boxers, along with number 18, Trishua Hall. Norman to pass. It's going to fall incomplete. Flag thrown in. And that should be some form of pass interference. And Barnstable knows it's on that. Free first down for the boxers. In the pass interference call. Reed Shua Hall on the far side, Tessa Adamo Filet on the near side. Meek Watterson more man flanking Michael Norman, who is in the shotgun. High snap, Norman, screen pass, complete to Shula Hall, spinning around his men. Now down to the 10 to the 6 yard line is Trey Shula Hall. The boxers are breathing down the Red Raiders' throats again. Once again, I'm Matt Dog, Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action. High atop the turf in a wet and windy Barnstable. Close to the goal line, it looks like it'll be about a yard shy. Come off the college football slate for tomorrow, it's Clemson at BC, uh, regular BC, Boston College. BC ranked for the first time in a long time, starting off the season 8-1. The give to number 33, who dives across the goal line. Touchdown, boxers. That's Trayvon Cordaro Goodwin on the third boxer score of the evening. And that brings us to 20 to nothing. Boxers on top. Now it is Carlin's gene for the first time of the night to attempt an extra point. Norman the holder. The ball is snapped. The kick is up. And the kick is no good. Wide to the left.
the boxers to kick away to the Red Raiders once again. It is Carlos Jean to kick this one out. Carlin seemed to kick away. It's a squibber on a wet ground. And number six is stacked up. That's Jadaro France. Red Raiders down by a lot. Four wideouts to the near side. For Peter Kuski, and now the motion lift. At some point, you get to realize these motion plays are not fooling the Brockton Boxers defense, who almost caused a fumble again. That ball was bouncing around a lot. Give to Frey. And he has to hold on for dear life as the boxers tried to rip that one out. See Carlito Weaver on the sideline, former boxer, right? Stacked up by Nathan Reed, and they're going to rule that was enough to stop forward progress, or rather, he stepped out of bounds at the 31. So, Barnstable's offense has forgotten at this game tonight. Peter Tusky in the gun. No motions this time. It's the pass complete to Joseph Molina. He's brought down at the 39. Kuski back to pass, long over the middle, and that is broken up and tended for Luke Lucascio.
Another weird punting formation for the Red Raiders, who are going to have to call a timeout here. They didn't have enough men on the field. Molina is going to punt it away. There's going to be something illegal about setting a wall, and here's a fake, and this is not going to end well for the Red Raiders. Molina decided not to kick that one away. He's brought down at the 25-yard at the, yeah, line, and that is where the boxers will have a very short field to work with. It's not really a strategy shift for the Red Raiders. It is... Coaching shift that's needed because you can run as many trick plays as you want, but they're running an offer on success rate right now. Two wideouts had them all the way to the near side, Norman. Off the play action pass hits to Meek Watterson, but it was broken up by number 57, Thomas Auer. Red Raiders, a lot of offensive troubles. Time out called by Brockton. Talking about boxers whose offense has shown up for the first time in a long time. Back on quarterback on the sideline there with Devontae Medley. Watterson comes back in. Quarterback keeper Norman getting some help from behind. He is on the level. The ball might have came out if only for a brief second, but Norman gets down to the 20. Gets to Watterson. He lowers the shoulder, takes a little bit of punishment. Charges ahead. Norman trying to get across the first down marker. It'll be close. It's a gain of about a yard. Thank you. 
Here comes the official measurements. First down boxes. Avon Reed tips it to himself and another touchdown for the boxers. The second phenomenal reception for Navon Reed. So it's twenty-six nothing in favor of the Boxers. Harlan's gene to attempt the extra point. Missing on his last attempt though for one. Well a snap, the kick is up. And this one is good. 27 to nothing. Now it's a game of how many will the boxers put up before they take their foot off the gas. And this game means absolutely nothing. Thank you to the MIAA for that one. Boxers eliminated first week of the playoffs in what would have been week eight of the regular season. By the Franklin Panthers. Since then, they have beaten up Taunton and now Barnstable. Cascio goes nowhere on the return. It's down at the 28. Kuskin back to pass, complete to the far side, gain of about five to number 15, Connor Baldassaro. Talk about Des Bryant for a second. The wide receiver signing with the New Orleans Saints. A certain commentator picked him up in. All of his fantasy leagues before anybody else got his hands on the very next day. Tort Achilles done for the year. It's not keeper eligible in my leagues because he spent time on waivers. Twenty-six, nothing. Barnstable over Brockton. This interesting-looking water cart on the Barnstable sideline.
Pikachuski in the gun. Four receivers set. The motion plays have finally started to slow down. Tessa in, and he wraps him up. Rather, that was number 44, Brandon Daly, who recovered the earlier fumble. And then a timeout called by the Red Raiders. The weather seemingly calming a little bit. Nobody really expected this one to be a hard-fought battle. The boxers are up 27 to nothing. Wide Peter Kuski back to pass. He's going to keep it himself, and he is hit by Daly again. Whistles blow and the first half has come to an end. Not much of a contest. The boxers 27, the Red Raiders nothing. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this.
Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, football fans of all ages, welcome back into Barnstable High School for second half action between the Barnstable Red Raiders and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high atop the wet, windy field here on the Cape. The score is 27 to nothing. The Boxers' offense has come alive. It was... The momentum sparked in Brockton's favor on the first attempted pass by Matthew Peterkuski. A 40-yard pass that was intercepted by a Johnny Horn. And since then it has been all Brockton all the time. Mick Watterson with a couple of scores for the Boxers. And they lead by... Couple of touchdowns, 27 nothing. Johnny Horn returning this one in the directions are pulled onto the football by Matt Campbell. So we'll have the first look of the second half. Michael Norman in the boxer offense. Boxers have not tried to throw it too, too much. Or we're going to see Devontae Medley in here. Medley, quarterback here. Direct snap to what? Is that Watterson? And Amik Watterson just threw a punch again, but there will not be a flag thrown. That was what killed him in the BC high game. Meek Watterson was standing in a quarterback. There's only 10 boxers on the field. Here comes Ted Tessa, the 11th. So there's a Meek Watterson lining up at quarterback. Tessa, the man in motion, he gets the give. Ted Tessa stops. And spun down at the 35. Now we've got another boxer. It's Michael Norman back in a quarterback. Watterson splitting up to the near side where there is trips. Five wide for the boxers. Norman back to pass under pressure. 
Throwing across his body, he's almost picked off. Number three almost coming up with a Corey Wardwell. Would not surprise me if we see Devontae Medley get some action as this game goes on. The Brockton punt. But Barstable did run into the punter. No flag down. Then Bruno with a decent boot. Here come the motion plays for the Red Raiders. Peter Kuski under pressure, he's going to throw it away. Peter Kuski back to pass for the near sideline complete to number six to Daro France and France all the way down to the boxers 35 yard line. It's a big first down from Barcival. Almost intercepted is the pass. It was Devin Fortes in the area. So that stops the clock. Fortes playing strong safety. Peter Kuski. Play action handoff to Fry. And that goes nowhere. Boxers have been successful at just about everything they've tried. Barnstable has yet to get on the board. Peter Kuski tipped at the line and caught by Baldessaro. Constable getting close there at the 15 yard line. Okay. 
Peter Kuski on the keeper. He is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Carson was going to go for it here on third and long. Peter Cusky on the quarterback keeper will get down to around the 11. It looks to be short of the first down marker. Under center, three backs, one wide out. Brockton stacking the box. Barnstable's trying to draw the boxes off sides. The snap, the give to Frey, and he's in for a touchdown. Brian Frey. 5'7", 170 pound junior with Barnstable's first score, first score on the night. To attempt the extra point is Jonathan Silva. The kick is up, and the kick is good. 27-7, your score, Brockton, up by 20. Midway through the third quarter. Arsenal to kick off to the boxers. Onside kick attempt, fielded clearly by Navon Reed, and the boxers will take over at their own 45. with good field position here. Norman gives off to Amik Watterson. Watterson still on his feet. Breaking tackles left and right. Spinning with it. Still on his feet. Amik Watterson to the 30, the 25 before he's pushed out of bounds. He must have broke about five tackles on that play. And Amik Watterson showing his greatest talent. Yards after contact. Yeah. 
First and ten for the boxers. Roman gives off to Watterson. Amik Watterson, another clear path, and he's got his second touchdown of the night. Amik Watterson running between the tackles right through Barnstable's entire defense. En route to the end zone. Collins Jean to attempt the extra point. The ball is snapped, the kick is up, and the kick is good. 34 to 7. So Brockton answering Barnstable won't score right off the bat. to kick off to the Red Raiders. Here's Baldessaro. Baldessaro finding a hole. He's just about to midfield, and he is hurt holding his right ankle. Baldessaro in a lot of pain. His foot is hanging in a direction it shouldn't be. Trainer asking him what's the problem, and he says, look at my ankle. Concern for Connor Baldessaro, the senior wideout, who just had a horrific ankle injury on the kickoff return. Connor Baldessaro has just injured his left ankle. It visibly looks broken, and they are going to help carry him off the field. You can see that left leg not going anywhere near the ground and just kind of waving around, and that is ugly for the senior wide receiver. Connor Baldessaro in rough shape on the Red Raiders sideline. So I'm sure the ambulance is going to be on the way. And somehow they have to play on after Baldessaro broke his left ankle. 
Peter Kuski tipped at the line, complete to number one, Joseph Molina. Molina instantly becomes the top target of Peter Kowski. Offsides the call against the boxers. Give to Jordan Frey. Gives a fray as we're in clock mode now. Loss of a couple. Third and about four. Ball oh, snap, screen pass complete to Tadaro France as he turns the corner gets to the third three. First and ten, Barnstable, Peter Kuski on the play action. Rolls up and incomplete. Rain coming down harder still. A wet and windy one down in Barnes to Will Peter Kuski back to pass. He is hit and yeah, somehow escapes and caught on the near sideline. That was France again, Jadara France with the athletic catch. That's a nine-yard pickup. Third down and one. Or one for the Red Raiders. Time out on the field. see the pouring rain. I want to take this opportunity to thank our camera guy for today's bringing you the sights and sounds of today's festivities down here at Barnstable High School. The one, the only Mike the Postman Simmons with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. This one with quite a lot of raindrops included free of charge. Here's the give to Frey. He has the first down down to the 15-yard line. 
Hold up by that's a healthy pickup and another Barnstable first down. Kroski back to pass, looking high over the middle. He's going to sail it through the uprights. Peter Kuski and the gun trips to the near side. Frey the lone running back. He becomes a walker. Peter Kuski in trouble. He's going to go down at the 20. Third and 13 now for the Red Raiders as the skies have opened up. Kuski hit again and he goes down again. Another four yards back for the Red Raiders who are going in the wrong direction. About 20. Get out of back to pass. In trouble again. This time he heaves it up. And a touchdown for Barnstable. That is Jadaro France on the reception. An excellent catch for France in triple coverage. And that brings us. 34 to 13. The extra point is up and good. 34 14, your score. Enjoying the scenery here on the Cape. Wet, rainy, very rainy. to kick away for the Red Raiders. Short kick. Knocked down immediately is Amig Watterson. Boxers take over. 34 to 14, you score. Let's go. 
two backs, Norman under center. And that's Devontae Medley in a quarterback now, so prediction comes true. The boxer's up 20 late in this one. End of the third quarter, the score is 34-14, Brockton on top. So the thoughts and concerns with Connor Baldessaro who visibly broke his ankle in a horrific, gruesome injury on kickoff return earlier in the third quarter. You can see right there the ambulance for the young senior. Watterson with a good run taking out the coach on the side. Very wet, slippery, and nasty out there. Medley gives off to it's number 24 for the boxers, Nelson De Silva. Medley's give to Watterson. He finds a hole and busts right ahead for a game of a couple. It's now third and long. formation for the boxers. Medley gives off to Watterson. Watterson trying to get to the far side. He does throws a nasty stiff arm. And he's got a first down for the boxers. Medley fake pitch give to number 39 who is stopped immediately. That is Rodrigo Lima. Boxers in full clock management mode. 
Trying to waste out as much of this fourth quarter as possible. I wouldn't think that Barnstable is a threat to come back in this one. Especially without their senior wideout, Connor Baldessaro, who has been taken to a hospital. Medley quarterback keeper first down. Down to the 26. Here come the boxers, Watterson in the backfield, Medley under center, clean wide receivers. Delayed give to Watterson who is wrapped up immediately. Stuff on the field. Timeout taken by Brockton as the stuff would started to ensue. In formation, no wide receivers, and it's Watterson in the backfield. He gets the give, and Meek Watterson back towards the middle, and about five. Give to Watterson. Amik Watterson trying to get to the end zone for the third time. He stopped at the 14. It will be, or rather the 10. It will be a first and goal. Medley, who has taken over for Michael Norman. Now the boxers have some wide receivers. It's Adam Olafoy and Avon Reed. Medley gives to Rodrigo Lima, who goes up the gut to the four. Out 
So we go from the four for the boxers. Medley under center. We were behind him. Watterson behind him. False start against the boxers. Boxers for another false start. And they do. Timeout called by Barnstable. After back to back false starts against the Boxers. Now Medley thrown over the middle, incomplete. Batted down by Corey Wardwell. Third and goal from the 14. Interesting conversation we're picking up the boxer coaching staff. There's bullet points here. No need to throw the ball in a game like this, and let's hand the ball to a meek. So I'm going to bet on this play that number 17 in the backfield, Watterson, gets this ball. He does just that to make Watterson. Back at the five, fourth and goal from the five. Box is going for it here. Medley under center. Watterson behind Lima to give to Watterson. And he's got the hat trick. Three touchdowns for Amik Watterson. Watterson's third on the day. This is by far his best game on the season. And back out of Tennessee. Now it's Carlin's gene to attempt the extra point. Follow well, snap, the kick is up, the kick is blocked. Barnstable's gonna recover this one on his feet at the 30. Still on his feet is number 10 to the 50, the 40. That is Colby Burke taking it all the way to the 10, the 5. And that is two points for the Red Raiders. 
Colby Burke grabbing the loose ball. Running it 100 yards the other way. That brings us to 40 to 16. See the rain getting incredibly heavy here on the Cape. Now the boxers to kick off after Barcelona potted the blocked extra point conversion the other way. On side attempts, bouncing around, recovered by Brockton. First and ten, Barnstable, or rather Brockton. Bad snap, Medley picks it up, looking to throw. He's going to throw it into the sideline. Second and ten for the boxers. The end of this game draws closer. Brockton is just going to run out the clock. Possible cause of timeout. Down forty to sixteen. It's Nelson De Silva who's got a first down. They're going to mark him just short. Sneak 
fourth and one. Brockton going for it here. And decked was De Silva. He's going to be short. What a hit. Kuski back to pass. He's in trouble. He's going to get sacked. Loss of about two. Second in the long 11 for the Red Raiders. Kuski back to pass is caught by Joseph Molina. First down for the Red Raiders. Peter Kresge back to pass. He's in trouble, backpedaling, and throws it away. Kuski's pass is complete to Luke Lacascio. Good for a Red Raider first down. Seven 
Kukowski back to pass again. This one falls incomplete through the hands of Giordaro France. Kukowski in trouble. He's drawn down by his jersey, and I think we're going to see intentional grounding here against Peter Kukowski. Peter Kukowski could get a unsportsmanlike for picking up the referee's flag. And it is going to be intentional grounding. Peter Kuski back to pass, looking long, looking deep, almost a phenomenal grab by Lacascio. Time winding down here in this one. A wet, windy, high-scoring affair for Brockton and Barnstable. Boxers in victory formation here. Michael Norman under center once again after giving way to Devontae Medley. He takes the second knee, third and 12. And with time winding down. Meek Watterson is going to be your player of the game. Three touchdowns for the boxers north of 100 yards. And the thoughts and concerns of everybody here remain with the young gentleman, Connor Baldassaro, who shattered his ankle early in the third quarter it was helped off the field and eventually took an ambulance to the hospital your final score is 40 to 16 Brockton with two straight wins going into Thanksgiving they will face Bridgewater Raynham at home at Marciano Stadium in the seventh edition of the Annual Cape Cod Cafe Bowl. 40 to 16, your final score. Brockton victorious over Barnstable here on the Cape. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, our cameraman, Mike the Postman Simmons, with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you on Thanksgiving.